And now to those new developments in Syria that U.S. officials acknowledge are a game changer. This morning, the U.S. is preparing to step up military support of rebels after finding conclusive evidence that the Syrian government has used chemical weapons against the opposition. Chuck Todd is NBC's chief White House correspondent. He's got the latest on this. Chuck, good morning to you. Good morning, Savannah. You know, this comes after months of deliberations, growing pressure on the White House to do something, not just from Republican hawks like John McCain, but also from some Democrats, including Bill Clinton. So yesterday, the White House announced some incremental steps to help the opposition in hopes that this will turn the tide against Bashar al-Assad. The White House today facing growing pressure after publicly declaring that Syrian President Bashar al-Assad has used chemical weapons, including deadly sarin gas, against his own people. The new U.S. intelligence assessment estimates 150 Syrian rebels and citizens have been killed in these chemical attacks. For months, President Obama has warned the use of chemical weapons would cross a red line and trigger a U.S. response. Senior officials say the U.S. will now provide lethal aid to opposition forces, including unspecified military support. But Senator John McCain, who recently met with the opposition in Syria, says that may not be enough. I think the way that this issue has been handled is disgraceful. I understand that Americans are war weary, but this, because of our inaction, is turning into a regional conflict. White House officials say they will now consult with allies on further steps, which could include additional arms and additional humanitarian aid or enforcement of a no-fly zone. But for now, there's no talk of putting U.S. troops on the ground. Why? The public is skeptical. The latest NBC News Wall Street Journal poll showed just 15 percent of Americans believe that the U.S. should use military force. And, Chuck, there is growing pressure on the administration to act. We just saw the poll numbers. There's not a lot of appetite in the country for deepening the involvement of the U.S. into this conflict. In fact, Savannah, in our last poll that we just conducted, we anticipated something like this. Just one in four Americans support the idea of either having uh, direct military involvement or arming the opposition. It's unbelievable. A majority, large majority, over 70 percent, either want the U.S. to do nothing, stand aside, or only provide humanitarian aid. And this is one of those issues, Savannah. It is the exact same no matter if you just look at Democrats, just look at Republicans, just look at independents. This is across the board. As John McCain himself said, this is a war-weary country, and you see it when you ask questions like this about involvement in Syria.